we need the right person to see this image pretty much at the right time. All we need is that one person to see it. My name is Lisa Bailey. I'm a visual information specialist at the FBI laboratory and I work on facial approximations of unidentified remains. When the evidence comes in, it, it first goes into the anthropologist because as an artist, I can't do anything until I have the age, sex, stature, and ancestry of the person that I'm going to be depicting. I, I read the anthropologist report and I, I sit and just examine the skull. I'm just looking at it for any, any other clues, like maybe one cheek might be a little bit more recessed than the other. I'm, I'm just looking and, and basically seeing, seeing what the anthropologist is seeing and, um, before I start sculpting. You need to be an artist to be a forensic artist. You have to have technical skills. You have to be able to draw and to sculpt. But you have to know when to pull back and not, not put too much in that is unknown. For with skulls, there, there are things we know, things that we, we don't know. So you can't, um, you, you can't go too far and put in things that are just absolutely not known because that, that'll detract from the case. There are some that just will never be identified. I mean, I've, that's one of the things I've had to reconcile with myself in doing this job, is that I can do the best I can. There's only so much I can do. Just they're not all gonna be identified, but some of them can. And if, if somebody's looking, um, you know, all they need to do is, is make that call. Just seeing that one image could be, could be the one thing that makes, that makes somebody take a second look. And that's all we need is for somebody is to see it and just make the phone call.